Hello, this is Mistress Lassie Rose, and this is the Held in Chains Hypnosis Session. Now, let us begin. This place in a different time, a different situation. Imagine for a moment that you're caught trying to sneak in somewhere, trying to get something, an object, secrets. It doesn't matter why you were there. Close your eyes and imagine the trouble that you'll be in because you know that those who are caught will be punished. And the punishment will be different every time. Some may be put in the dungeon to be forgotten. Others are even less lucky. You'll be blindfolded and almost immediately. Once you got caught, dragged around, voices. It was difficult to tell what was going on. It took a long while before much changed. You're being dragged down. To where? That was enough for you to know. But the longer the blindfold was, our more difficult became to tell what was happening. You really tried your hardest to figure out what they were talking about. Conversations went by so quickly. The sound of people running, walking. Discussions in the distance unclear if they were related to you. The more you focus on trying to understand what was going on, the more difficult it became. Besides the people holding you, it almost felt like nothing changed for a minute. Hours. And when they suddenly pulled you, it almost came like a shock, making you drop and drift into that sensation. Something as they move you to a different place. Stares in their eyes and think at all as you practically fell down. Them, if they weren't holding you so tightly, the only thing you recognized was the sound of the room you were brought into. It was the main hall. You were shackled. Wrists, ankles, cold metal holding you in place. The blindfold that was put on you was very firmly slipped, like a leather hold that you could not take off without any help. It was difficult to discern what was going on. Each part of you, each bone, each muscle, each nerve in your body was trying to figure out. The stone floor beneath you cold and hard. The strange sensations around you Conversations that weren't yet started. You could hear servants preparing something. Maybe you try to crawl somewhere, but there's no option, no choice. And then you heard a strange sound. Something was moving behind the wall. And the chains that were linked to your shackles began to move. Instinctively, you tried in vain to crawl away. But you can feel the pull. The heavy chains were slowly getting tighter. Pulled towards the wall. They weren't attached to the walls you may have fought. No. They were. Inside somewhere. The heavy chunk of each leak in the chain. As it went through the hole in the wall reminded you that. Your movements too rapidly become restricted. The more you are pulled towards the wall, the more helpless, powerless, and restrained you become. At some point, the chains begin to pull your arms up. They're getting so short that you're being pulled into a standing spread position, whether you wanted to or not. The strong chains easily lift you up until they all but disappear into the wall leaving only the tiniest space for your particular length. And then there's a strange sound in front of you, the feeling of the chains that completely made you forgot that you were in the main wall. You are exposed to everything in front. Everyone can see you. 
Everyone can observe, watch you, and then something cold against your skin. The back of the knife is your clothes are being cut away. Strips are rapidly being pulled of that's what remind you of your dignity was being taken from you. And then more chains. There is no warmth in them. No hand touched you. Only the chains that were slowly being closed over your body. Your chest, your hips, your legs. Every part of you was being pulled back against the wall. As if you were no more than a ornament hanging. Something cold was being pressed between your teeth. Something shaped like a ball. A cat perhaps. It just left you helpless. Barely able to make a sound. And something else was being placed over the hood already. Covering your eyes. Making it difficult to hear. Your thoughts. The feelings of the chains. All that remained. You could feel the air of the room. You could feel the contrast with the cold. Hard metal against your skin. You could feel how people were moving out there. Yet no one got close. You were being held in place. A piece of decoration on the wall. Chained for their entertainment. It was getting difficult to recognize anything from the outside. Once they were done with the chains. And they were tight and well. They just left you there. Hanging. Each twitch of your body moving against the change, easily rubbing them against place. The cool slowly heating up with your own body. In a way, it felt strange to just be hanging there. Time fading, your mind unable to really think. No real sounds, all muffled and far away. Your eyes unable to see. Your nose picking up food. People. But unable to piece it together, it was getting difficult to move your body rapidly, just rapidly tired. I wonder what would happen after this. Will you be able to stay there for hours on end? Would you be kept there for their pleasure, their entertainment, their view, their enjoyment? What to do with this? How to handle this? Stuck there against the wall shackled, chained, held, powerless, helpless. And deep inside it's almost like there's a voice telling you to give in, to submit, to let go, to enjoy the magic, insanity, strange sensations of your body as it's being stimulated by the hard metal with every breath. Every twitch, teasing, but also making you aware that you were still hanging on, a wall skirming for everyone to see. If your body were to respond to this in arousal, it will be visible. There is nothing that is hidden. Your legs, your arms widely spread. Every part of you can be observed. It could so easily be touched as well. Even though you have no idea how high or low you're hanging, it didn't feel too far off the ground. And they were able to cut your clothes away from you. But time, time is making it so hard to think. It is passing, and nobody's interacting with you directly. You are sure that people can see your squirms, your surrender, your feelings. Is someone talking to you? Are they telling you to give in? Is some devious magic solely brainwashing you to enjoy this? Or is it all your own perverted fantasies? There are drops falling, leaking. Is it from your mouth? The gag? Are you trolling? Or are the trip the drops from a different place? Are you happy to be caught? Or is it the frustration mixing with excitement and fear? Helpless. Change. Displayed. No longer cold as the chains of heating up with their own warmth. 
Sometimes you can feel a gust of cold air. A door somewhere must be opening. So frustrating. Very little you can do. How long we've held here. How long you be trapped. Chained. Twitching. Feeling frustrated. Maybe you're hoping for it to end when you can finally turn back to awareness. Or maybe you are hoping for your body to be taken down even deeper. Listen to my voice. Giving in deeper. The chains are so strong. Unmoving. No matter how much you squirm or trench, they do not give. You are sure that the chains, the link has been pressed to your skin so firmly, they are leaving marks. And yet it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're hanging there. Helpless. Powerless. Waiting. Wanting. Until something inevitably changes. Enjoy. Yeah.